Charles Fort was an American writer who collected news articles of anything bizarre or unusual that challenged the scientific paradigms of his day. He is most famous for the law of the hyphen, that the more dogmatic and authoritarian a scientific theory was, the more likely it is to be wrong. To Fort, much of reality lied in an intermediate, excluded middle realm of existence. Notions like the food pyramid would certainly fail Fort's excluded middle theory. We see that there are diets that advocate low protein for everyone, and diets which advise high protein for everyone. Both would fail the test of the excluded middle. However, when we look at the advantage of adjusting protein levels along a spectrum of individuality, we see that a concept like the blood group diet passes for its excluded middle test. Let's look at the individual blood groups. Blood group O thrives on protein. They have the enzymes and acids to effectively break it down. They do well with lean meats, protein and fish, in addition to abundant amounts of fruits and vegetables. Healthy fats and oils are also an important part of the Group O plan. They do less successfully on breads, grains, and starches, as they appear to interfere with their metabolism of fat. In this blood group, fat doesn't make fat, sugar and starches make fat. A high carbohydrate intake can elevate Group O's triglycerides and enhance their potential for inflammatory type illness. For stress reduction, Group O should pursue the types of strategies that help boost dopamine and help eliminate adrenaline. Resistance training, cardiovascular exercise, rowing, jogging are all excellent for this. Group A is in many ways the opposite of Group O. They lack the digestive capabilities to break down animal protein and tend to have higher cholesterol and thicker blood. Group A does better on grains and breads, but should not consume as high a percentage of fats and oils. Large amounts of pigmented fruits and vegetables, high in antioxidants, should be encouraged. They should attempt to secure their protein from plant sources, including soybeans, nuts, and legumes. A small amount of seafood can also be used. A plant-based diet can have profound anti-cancer effects in blood group A. The preferred form of stress reduction in Group A are those types of exercise that help modulate the effects of the stress hormone cortisol. These include yoga and tai chi. The diet for Group AB is a bit more unique and difficult to summarize in a few words, as foods which are reactive for either the Group A or B antigen can be problematic for Group AB. Because of the lack of any blood group hemagglutinins, ABs appear to tolerate many foods with A or B antigenicity, which includes many forms of dairy, seeds, and grains. ABs can do well with a mix of animal and plant proteins, but have idiosyncratic reactions in each category. Stress reduction for group AB centers around maximizing immune function. Evidence suggests that healthy group AB individuals have higher levels of natural killer cells in their immune system, which can diminish under stress. Strategies for enhancing natural killer cell activity read like a basic textbook of naturopathic medicine. Adequate sunshine, fresh air, relaxation, and good diet. Group B represents a balance between the polar opposites of group O and group A. An uncommon blood group, bees can best be thought of as a true omnivore, deriving their protein from a combination of lean meats, seafood, and dairy. Cultured dairy products appear to be especially helpful in maintaining the health of their digestive tracts. Fats and oils can make up an important part of the bee diet, although they should avoid meats, grains, fruits, and vegetables that contain lectins specific for the group B antigen. Some evidence is beginning to develop that suggests that those individuals with a B antigen may do well on techniques which optimize the mind-body connection. 
Deep relaxation, visualization, and meditation are tools by which bees can use the power of their mind to optimize their physiology and immune response. Fort believed that knowledge could never be completely universalized or totalized. His famous quote, a circle is best measured starting anywhere, expresses a continuity of thought and life typified by the blood group theory, one that we are only now beginning to understand and appreciate. Thank you.